Moving on to question 39. The diagram below shows a Wayang Kulit performance. Audiences over here, is, they are treated to a display of dancing shadows form on a screen using puppets made of thin pieces of wood on stakes which the audience cannot see. Okay, so what happens here is that without changing the size of the puppets, what should the puppeteer do to the light source to create larger shadows? So what should we do to create larger shadows? Okay, if you just ignore all of this, right? You have an object, you have a light source, you have a screen. How do you create a larger shadow of the object? You decrease the distance between the light source and the object. Agree? So what we're going to do for this one is, if you want to make the size of the puppet shadow larger, we will bring the puppets closer to the light source. So that is the answer for part A. Okay, move the light source nearer to the puppets. How about part B? Explain how shadows of the puppets are formed. So generally, think about how shadows are formed. Right, there is a template structure for shadows. We say that shadows are formed when the path of light from the light source which travels in a straight line is blocked by an object which is opaque or translucent. Agree? Opaque and translucent objects block light. As long as they block light, shadows can be formed. So in this case, explain how the shadows of the puppets are formed. So the shadows of the puppets are formed when light from the light source which travels in a straight line is blocked by the puppets and we must specify which are opaque. Is that clear? Okay, so this one is quite simple. Let's look at C. Mary stated that the screen is made of a material that allows most light to pass through. If a material allows most light to pass through, what does that mean? This means that this is a transparent material. Are you able to form shadows on transparent materials? Think about this. A transparent material is like glass. Are you able to form a shadow on glass? The answer is no. So is she correct? No, she is not correct. Why not? Because for a shadow to form on the screen, it must be able to block light. So as long as this is an opaque or a translucent material which blocks light, a shadow can form on it, but definitely not a transparent material. So we say a material that allows most light to pass through would not allow shadows to be formed on it. Okay? So that is the answer for 39C. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.